be honest, I think doing this one by i is the best thing, like drawing some lines on. So we're going from p, and let's say we go to y, like clearly that's not going to split the shape into two. As we move on up, and obviously the area at the bottom is increasing, but even when we're halfway up, that's going to be c, I've already rejected b, then I can see I've got like two whole squares up here and then a fair amount up here. I'm going to definitely have more than three because overall I need to have three. So if I move it a little bit more to a quarter, then I'm still not there with three. I've got I've got one, two, and then this is going to end up being more than three. So ultimately it has to be a dex just by process of elimination. And the answers, they do quite a nice thing. They basically erase the very top square and imagine drawing it here instead. So then we've got a bit more symmetry going on. You can kind of see that this relates to this and then this line going down the middle is going to split these two into two. Remember, there's a line of symmetry here. Um, and then this amount is going to be the same as this amount and so on. It all kind of perfectly matches up. So it's a bit harder to see when the square's at the top, which is why, it, yeah, it's a, it's a good plan to make it top left. 